God and to all that he has done for us all. We are here together as one people in, in resurrecting our community. Again, the fire order is on the move. As I read from this one rally sheet here, community rally, theme, futures, not funerals. Help us save our children. Meet us at Hawthorne Avenue in Bourbon Street. This, of course, this way it was June 14, 2008. That was last year, so the fight is still going on. And we're 2009, almost 2010. Two more months, we'll be 2010. So we're here today to talk about it and let the people know in Jersey and, and basically around the whole country of what we're trying to do in keeping this liquor store, whiskey store, closed. As I'm going to show for YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, uh, one of the signs here, you know, that it says again, funerals, not uh, futures, not funerals. Our youth there marching, you know. And so it's, it's so important that we come together actively, and we in the city of Newark, Newark, New Jersey. I'm just going to read here from uh, uh, one of the uh, papers that come from the court, and uh, uh, then I'm going to let the, the, the people here speak and to give out their, their heartfelt uh, acclaim of why this uh, liquor store, whiskey store, uh, drunken store should stay closed in a community where it's a beautiful community where you have a, a nursery and a school and, and many churches right around. I don't even know how they was able to <laughs> even take claim on building anything like this right here, but people will find a way. Some think that you're trying to shut their kids down and they think that you're trying to take money from them. But the truth of the matter is that when we embody one as oneness that we grow together, then we all can, can grow. You know, you can't poison my kids if you know to be and make a lot of money, then you know, you poison my kids and yours not poison. One day my kids gonna meet your kids and then you know it's gonna be a whole lot, whole mess. Alright, I'll start here. First class championship development center, Triumph Church of of uh, New Age, uh, Palm Garden Holiness Church, Pentecostal Prayer Center. Uh, Gersh, uh, what's that, Gershon Church? Gethsemane Church of God in Christ, uh, United Muslim Incorporated, uh, Bergen Street uh, Merchants Associates, uh, and Peshon Avenue PTA Association, and many more. Please be advised that my offers, offers represent all objectives. Noted above, and the individuals who, who we sell, reside, work, and Workmanship in, in and around 945 Bourbon Street, located within the city, city of Newark, 2nd Business District, B2 Zone. We are opposed to the review of the license, liquor license, liquor license number, docket number 0714-32698-006. Because of such action, we'll have an advised impact on the quality of life within the community and the board approval of the application, which has been or, or will be submitted to, to Newark Alcohol Beverage Control violation and legislation uh, of R0432-2A and R0432-2A. Uh, and R0432-2B B in light of the public policy rationale for enacting of a city ordinance, ordinance which permits the transfer of liquor license to location within 1,000 feet of a house of worship and or school. Now, if you can walk out to Bourbon Street, and if I had time today, I would show you all the houses of worship because I was shocked I got here early today. And I was just looking at all the houses of worship that's so close, and then, of course, this center here, so we, there's no room for this, this behavior. But again, as I've heard from the owners that uh, was unwilling to take the sum that was offered to them, that they think someone is trying to take some bread from their, from their table, which we're not trying to take bread from anyone's table. So today, I have people that's been on the front, that's been here, that's been doing the work, and I'm gonna let each and every one of them have, get their just word in. Anyone like to take a pass? Sweet. 
Yes, thank you, Reverend Marshall, and to the viewing audience. It's really been a privilege, a pleasure, and a blessing that all of us came together, really by accident, because I happened to find a flyer on the ground outside of this building. The fight has been long, it's been hard, but it certainly ended up being rewarding. I don't think when you bring this many people together uh, who all love God, that the devil could beat us doing anything. Consequently, we stayed together. We first went about the business of going to court and presenting our case before the judge, Judge Dennis Carey, asking him to prevent that liquor store, tavern, and dance hall from opening up until we, could, we, the community, could have our say. And certainly, this past Monday, October 5th, 2009, we finally had our say. And to that end, it was good. We understood from the beginning that the transfer of the license uh, at that liquor store from the previous owner to the present owner was illegal, which made his document null and void. However, as you well know, uh, they uh, will come into our community and they want to put anything here and they think that it should be acceptable to us. Well, they made a mistake because in this community, it wasn't acceptable, never will be acceptable, and as of October the 5th, we have won our case, and that is our children will not die in the door of their lives. Amen. Next speaker, please. Statham, Pastor of Gethsemane Church at 929 Bergen Street. And, uh, we are also opposed of this liquor store being open. Uh, no, we don't want to, we want the future for our children and not funerals. Uh, liquor is one of the dangerous uh, commodities out. You have more people dying from liquor than you have from gunshot. But we're here to say we're not no, and we will continue to say no, wherever this type of establishment tries to open up. It's the wrong community. They should have known better, but we're in, in for the long haul, and we do have the victory over this circumstances. Yes, our children, our fathers, our mothers, our seniors will be able to walk the streets uh, knowing what not, that they will not be attacked by some person that has purchased liquor from this establishment. No, it shall not open, it will not open, and we thank you for your concern. Amen. Next. Turkey State and Voice in my opinion and concern concerning the liquor store opening at 945 Bergen Street, Newark, New Jersey. I'm a parishioner in this community I go to church here two, three, four times a week. Of course, I'm very concerned about being in a community, a neighborhood, where there is a liquor store in operation. It is a danger to the community. It does nothing but bring the uh, quality of life down in the community. I am opposed to a liquor store being open in any community, but most especially this community. We want to save our children, our parishioners, our people, all that travel this way. It is our desire to keep this liquor store closed. Thanks. Good evening, brothers and sisters across the United States. My name is Dr. Nathaniel L. Potts. I am a career educator and a career advocate for what's best for our children, not only in the city of Newark, but around the country. I will do whatever I have to do to see to it that our children get the same opportunity that was presented to not only me, but the people behind me and people that have been involved in our struggle, including our attorney, Edward, J. Edgar Wall, Edward Waller, who was a local resident who was given up his time, talent, and tithing to assist.